Good morning everyone. Mm -hmm. I hope all is well and we are maintaining our social distance so we can get back to school as soon as possible. Now today we will be looking at mathematics and in mathematics we are going the topic that we are really focusing on is fraction. Now we have been looking at fractions for the past few weeks. We have looked at half and quarter but today I will be showing you how to share items or objects when we talk about a quarter. But firstly, I'm going to review some things that we have done. Now, I want everybody to run and get a piece of paper for me. Please get a paper for me. Now, I want a whole paper, because the sheet that I have right here is a whole sheet, it's a whole paper. And by whole, I mean that there is no missing parts on it. See, this is my whole sheet. Now, you should have one too. Now, what I want you to do with this whole sheet is that we are going to be figuring it, figuring out how we can get the paper into half, into a half, into a half. Now, what do you think I should do to get this paper into a half, to go into half? Right, I can fold it into two equal parts. I can fold it into two equal parts. Now, do that for me quickly. Now, this is my paper and I'm folding my paper into two equal halves by ensuring that the ends are together and they are, see, my two equal, this is my half. I just fold my paper into a half. Now, know that you have folded your paper into a half. Now, I want you to open it. Open that paper for me, everybody. I want you to open the paper and tell me how many parts did you, are you seeing now? Ah, we're seeing two equal parts. Let us count them. One, two. We're seeing two equal parts. Now that we're seeing two equal parts, the fraction that we use to represent a half is 1 over 2. The fraction that we use to represent a half is 1 over 2. Now, the bottom number tells us how many parts we have. How many parts we have. So how many parts do we have? Very good, we have two parts but two what kind of parts do we have though ah nice we have two equal parts these are the two equal parts now i want to give you an example what if i say i want you to shade the half of your paper that you had just folded the half how many parts would you shade based on the word that you have been given with on previous times Yes, very good. We will only shade one part because the top number tells us how many parts we are going to shade. Mm -hmm. How many parts we are going to shade. Now, if, if I say shade a half or color a half of your paper, you will only color one side. How many sides you will color? One side. Very good. Everybody give yourself a clap for me. That is a half. Now, we are moving right along. We want to know, this is my half paper. However, I want to know, how can I get this paper into four equal parts? What would I do to get it into four equal parts? Ah, uh, I will fold the paper another two times. I will fold the paper, ensure that they are equal. So from the half that you have, you find this middle, and you put the edges together, and you fold it into two equal parts. Now when you fold it into two equal parts, you see, I want you to, everybody has done that? Right. Now I want you to open the paper and tell me, how many parts do you see? Very good, we have four sections now, we have four sections, let us count them. One, two, three, four. We have four parts now. One, two, three, four. And these four, each section, we call it a quarter. So there are four quarters here. Another word that we can use for a quarter is, is fourth. Fourth, we have four quarters, right? Four quarters. Now the fraction that we use to represent a quarter is one over four. One over Four. This is the fraction that we use to represent a quarter. Now, the bottom number that you said tells us how many parts we have. Nice. And the top number tells us 
very good man you're coming on how many parts we should shave and how many parts you're going to share now we're going to shave a quarter of your sheet shade a quarter of your sheet while i do the same thing now i'm going to shade a quarter of my sheet with my pencil you can use your crayon to color it or whatever you choose but i want you to shade a quarter all right so i have shaved my quarter and how many quarters have i shaved only one only one now if i have shared one quarter of my of, of, of my page how many how many quarters are unshaded very good we have three quarters that are unshaded at the moment let us call them one two three and one that is shaded now we i want you to find out something for me i want you to put away your papers I want you to put away your papers and today we are going to be learning how to share a quarter now if I have a quarter and it says I want to find what is a quarter of eight so I say a quarter of eight is equal to dash now what's a way that we would go about doing this we have eight things and we must share it amongst four persons and how are we going to share it among the four persons we're going to share it equally among the four persons. So I'm going to use some different charts to show you. So we have Now we have four persons on the board. This is Tim, Joy. Let me use a different color so you can see. Joy, Roy, and I'm going to use blue for hat. Right. So we have four persons, and these four persons represent the amount that we have four. So one, two, three, four. Now we, we have, I should let us draw eight things. One, eight things on this side. Let's go. We are sharing eight apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight apples, and we're sharing them amongst four persons. Tim, Joy, Roy, and Pat. Let's go. Now, when we're sharing, each person must get the equally amount, same amount of apples. So let's go. So we give one to, we give one to Tim, pass it up. We want to Roy, we can exercise it. We give one to Joy, X. We give one to Pat, pass it up. And we still have more to share, so we're going to share this. Is cool, we give one more mm -hmm. We give one more to Tim. Cross it out. We give one another one to Roy. Cross it out. We give one more to Roy. Joy, sorry. Cross it out. We give one to Pat. And the cross it out. So we have we have shared up all eight of the apples that we have amongst these four persons. No, now that we are sure them, we want to know what is a quarter of eight. eight. Now, can I say it is what Roy and Pat has together? No, only one. Only one person I can choose to say what is a quarter of eight because each person has the same amount. So say a quarter of eight will be two. A quarter of eight will still be two if they ask him. A quarter of eight will be Two if you ask joy, a quarter of eight will be two if you ask Pat. So we can then say a quarter of eight is equal to two. And this is how we are going to go about sharing the activities that you have today to do. Please text or WhatsApp any further adjustments that you do not understand. Thank you.